does that mean? It's just a picture. Are we supposed to meet someone there? It's like one of those messages a kidnapper sends in a horror movie. That's enough of that. Come on, let's go. Hurry up, Chingcha. We'll be fossils by the time you're finished. I heard there was a disaster in the Divination Commission's delve? I'm surprised you're in the mood to play right now, Ching Chue. Even if the sky was gonna collapse on the Divination Commission, the Master Diviner would be there to hold it up. What she lacks in height, she more than makes up for in stamina. Anyway, I didn't come here just to play. She ordered me to wait here for our guests. Time is precious. I'm simply multitasking. It's the place in the photo, all right. Is this... a games parlor? Uh, what kind of problem can they possibly be facing? <laughs> Isn't this hand a problem? I have the worst luck. Oh, uh, hi there! I can tell just by looking at you that you're the Divination Commission's guest. Sorry, I was going to wait for you by the statue, but... Ah! Triplet! But folks from the Realm Keeping Commission descended on the area. It's too loud over there now. Pass! Pass! So I thought to myself, wouldn't it be better to meet somewhere quieter? Four of a kind! And wouldn't that be more fun, too? Better to show you the real Exalting Sanctum and introduce you to a true Sam Joe pastime, Celestial Jade! Ah! Victory! <laughs> <sighs> now that my wish has been fulfilled, there's nothing holding us back. Follow me, honored guests. I must apologize for your long wait, honored guests. It wasn't too long. Seeing your enthusiasm for this Celestial Jade game has stoked my curiosity. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. You clearly have excellent taste. If you're interested, I can show you how to play. It's great fun. Sure. Ah, uh, look. Is that a... It's an ancient tree. We call it the Ambrosial Arbor. It was once the Sienjo La Fu's prized treasure. I didn't know the Skyfaring Commission were history buffs. Not bad. Younger generations usually don't know much about it. It's said that the Ambrosial Arbor is an ancient remnant from where the Sienjo roamed the ether. From a distance, it looks like half a tree stump. But according to records of the early nation, in its prime, it wound into the heavens and from it celestial bodies hung. Meaning? It means the tree was as tall as the sky and stars hung from its branches. So, how big was it? Bigger than the Express? Bigger than Herta's space station? No, that can't be right. Stars hung from its branches. Then, how did it fit in the Sienjo? Those are metaphors. You shouldn't take poetry so literally. Anyway, it's just a legend. I see this view every day on my way to work. I'm kind of bored of it. Let's go.